Welcome to my Constant Contact newsletter tutorial. Here I'm going to be showing you how to create a newsletter in Constant Contact. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description and if you click that, you can actually get a free trial to Constant Contact, so feel free to follow along with me. So it's pretty easy to do if you just got a brand new trial just like I am using so that you can follow along with me or whether you have an account, it's pretty much going to be the same thing. What you want to do is go to marketing and click on that and from there simply go to email that's where i am now if it is blank you don't have any emails yet it's going to look very similar to this obviously you can change every now and then but based upon what we have let's go right here and click on create an email you can click there or you can click there same thing all right so here we are with the templates and if you scroll down it's going to keep loading more and more and more and more and more there's going to be plenty that you can choose from so for this since we're doing a newsletter i am going to click on newsletter here however a lot of times i do like starting from scratch if you want to do that but let's go here i might even start from scratch just to kind of show you how to create something like this but if you see any of these templates that you really like and say you want to leverage and use where you don't have a lot that you want to edit it you know you can just add a few pictures change around the text and links you can do that, you know, it's gonna be easier, but I think I did kind of talk myself into it. What I am gonna do is just go and start from scratch. That way I can show you how to drag and drop, add your pictures, how you can change around the design and so on and so forth. So feel free to pick any of those templates that you like. I'm gonna go with this one and you can still follow along with me, right? So let's click on select. All right, so here we are in the editor. There are a few things you might want to just take a quick look at. So in the beginning, I had edited this already, but if you click here, this is just going to be for you for the campaign name. I'm just calling this software updates. This is going to be a newsletter example, say that I would send out to individuals where, hey, I have a, a plethora of new tutorials or training videos regarding software, and I'm going to showcase a bunch of those. So this is not for you. This is not the subject line. However, this is going to be the subject line. You can always do this last in case you need some more inspiration inspiration from the email that you create, but I will go here just to show you. So this is going to be our subject line. As you can see, this is going to be our from name. I'm just going to do my full name here. It's already there. And uh, this is going to be your subject line. And this is going to be the pre header. I like calling this a little bit extra to help like entice or like maybe give them that extra reason to click. So the latest news for you probably can do better. So let me change that very quickly. So I put top tech tutorials for digital marketers and then the little bit extra all right, and I just put something like my newest step-by-step -step guides. We have our from address and our reply to address. You can also personalize this and add some emojis if needed. That's where they're going to be. There's gonna be a few extras, but this is what it's gonna look like when it lands in the subscriber's inbox. So let's keep it like that and let's save. And now we have business as usual. So the cool thing about this is that if you've created any emails or any landing pages with constant contact, it's gonna be the same thing. As it says right here, use this space to add text, images, dividers, and more. Be sure to delete this section before sending. So what do we wanna do here is click here, and it might be hard to find, which is why I wanted to show you this. After clicking that, we're gonna drag this to the right and we're gonna have our trash can right here. And now that's gonna be gone. So what we can do here is first add some text, okay? And what I did is just go to ChatGPT and quickly create an email. So first we're gonna have sections here. So there's three sections. One's gonna be for constant contact, another for repurpose, and for SEMrush based upon tutorial videos I've done. So I'm just gonna delete that and paste it in. So let's just say this is gonna be the section. I put the watch the constant contact landing page tutorial here. This is gonna be the video link for it. So I'm gonna copy this and show you how to add links first. So first and foremost, what we wanna do here, I'm just gonna put a period. Let's highlight what we want the link to be right here. And let's go right here to our link. Let's go to web page, and I'm gonna paste this in. And that looks great, okay? So that's gonna be the first section. Also, in case we wanted to just make it look a little bit better, you know, just, I like doing shorter and choppier sentences, maybe like one to two sentences max, so it just looks easier to read, you know, something like that. What we can also do, let's say we wanna add a divider, because we're gonna be talking about a few software companies in this one. Okay, we can also click on this right here. And this is a lot of the aesthetics. I know you can obviously, you know, change this around based upon your liking. I think that looks good, right, in my opinion. Uh, let's go to the text, let's go underneath, let's add a new one. So I'm gonna go back to my email right here. And we have this section. I'm just gonna highlight all of this and paste it in. And pretty much I'm gonna be repeating that process. Now your emails are probably gonna be different. You might have a few more things here and there. Like I always talk about, I prefer using the least amount of images just because the more images that you use, the higher chances that you're gonna be sent to, as I like to call it, the sin bin, which is the spam box. 
And once again, let's make this look a little bit better. Shorter and choppier sentences, so that's easier to read. And once again, let's say we have a divider. And I'm going to do that one more time since it is a newsletter here. And let's do text. I'm going to go a little bit faster since I think you get the idea now, right? Let's paste this in here. Let's go super fast speed, period. And we're going to make this a link. Here we go. Web page. And we go insert. And once again, I'm just going to make this a little bit easier on the eyes. This is what we're guiding through. Looks good. Okay, so how can we add some other things? Let's say we want to go to images here. Let's say we want to add this on top. So say we do want to add an image. Give me one second. I'm going to grab my logo. All right, so let's click on this. And what we want to do is replace. We have upload right here on the right side. And browse your computer to upload. All right, so there's the file. I'm going to click on that. Let's just do upload files. And we are done. Let's click on this. Let's insert. And just like that, we have a nice little logo. Looks pretty cool, right? We can always make it a little bit bigger if needed, you know, using the drag there to just kind of expand it. I think that looks pretty good too. We can bold this if needed, or say we wanted to make this more of like a headline. What we can do is obviously go here and just make it bigger. Probably make the emoji big too, right? So let's just make all this highlighted. There we go. Let's say we wanted to do 20, make it stand out a little bit more. So that way it almost reads like an article with headlines there. I think we had 19. Like I said, a lot of this is just aesthetics, of course, and 19. All right, and I had a little bit more in the email. So once again, I'm just going to add the divider. I'm going to click on that. Let's make it dashed and let's do another text box. I think it was just more of like signing off on the bottom. Let's drag and drop it there. And the last thing is going to be this. I didn't look too much into the actual email. Okay, so. I'm just going to keep it as that. Maybe we'll bold this just so it stands out. All right, and you might be wondering, well, we do have this email here, and we have this darker color, and there's a lot of other things going on. What we can do is actually click on this background here and click on the edit section here. You'll notice there's going to be like the inner width in case we want to like change that around. You can It moves ever so slightly. It's really up to you, but we also have this outer background too, so we can click here. Let's just say Probably <laughs> not going to make it yellow. That looks obnoxious. I mean, it's not the worst in the world. You know, that kind of meshes nicely with what I have. In fact, I'd probably do something like that. I think it looks good. It's not too dark. It is obviously different from the white. If you did white, then there would be no border there, right? We also have our borders and our margins. So if you wanted to change that up, say we wanted to do top width. There you go. You can see it right there. We don't want to do dashed. Maybe we want to do solid. And we have right width. We have bottom. And we have left. There we go. That gave it a nice little border. We also have margins too, in case you want to mess around with those. Let's see, that's going to be the top. So that just means it's going to move up a little. I think it's fine in terms of how it looks there. So in case you were curious about that, that's going to be the widths and the border section. We have both of those in the margins, so we can go back there. It's also images and also design as well. So outer background we talked about, inner background, once again, fonts. We have buttons too, if we scroll down ever so slightly here. Let's add a button just to kind of show you that as well. So let's say we have a button and we're going to go right here. Okay, so wanna dive deeper? Check out our resource library for more in-depth guides and courses to help master your digital marketing. So what I'm gonna do is just utilize this so we could do, actually visit our website. I mean, that actually works perfectly. Now that I've double clicked that, what we can do is do add link. We got web page. Okay, I'm just gonna add my website there. And also, I don't know about you, but I think a black button could probably look a little bit better, right? So button color, let's say we wanted to do green. I mean, that's not too bad, right? Really up to button radius, in case you wanna change that around. We can apply a border if needed. I think that's a little bit too deep, right? A little bit too much in terms of the radius. Uh, something like that doesn't look too bad if you wanted to add it. I think it looks fine like that, right? But also make it blue. You can make it red. In fact, red would probably really stick out here, something like that. So something you can always test if you want to utilize that. So that's a lot of the things that we can add. There's also a read more section. If you do want to embed videos, did I say embed? <laughs> embed videos. All you can do is drag and drop here. And if you click on this right here, we can go to edit. 
And while it says Vimeo, you can just add a simple YouTube URL right there and that's where it's gonna showcase. For this specific example, I would rather have someone just click on it and then go to where it needs to go, whether it be on YouTube itself or say like a landing page where I'm hosting it. But I'm just gonna delete this as well. So say we added this video in, we don't want it. Let's delete it right there. And overall, this looks pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You know, I like it, minimal images, it sticks out, the links are here. Something else that we can also do, just to make it look even more like a link, we can highlight this and click on underline. You'll notice I think it looks better like that. Most people understand that links are usually blue. They're not always blue, but if you see something that's blue and underlined, you're like, it's probably a link, right? You probably want to click it. So that may or may help not help ever so slightly, but you know, it. I think it looks better in my uh, humble opinion, okay? So that's gonna be what that looks like. Not too bad for our newsletter design. Okay, I'm gonna keep it as that. Let's click on continue. All right, so let's take a look at the left side first. So we have our, our desktop view, which is nice. I like how they showcase like what it looks like. There's just a little bit more on the right. We could always like move that over to the left by not having it stand out as much. But we have our first section when it comes to our first tutorial. We have our next tutorial. And after that, we have the SEMrush one as well. And of course, we have our link there. I'm not going to click on it, but if you hover over them, you can see some of the things that you can do. For example, visit our website. It's going to be right here if you want to watch that tutorial for SEMrush. We have our repurpose.io tutorial. And of course, we have the constant contact landing page tutorial that's going to be there as well. Something that is pretty cool is that if you go from desktop, you you can click on mobile right here and you're going to see what it looks like when it comes to the mobile optimized view which looks pretty good if you ask me i like the fact that there's at least one link above the fold what that means is that when someone clicks on it and opens it up in their mobile device they're at least going to have something to click at imagine if they went to this and there was only one link all the way at the bottom of this you're not going to get as many clicks and i understand it's a newsletter so it's going to be much longer but that's just a little tip where if you at least want to start getting some clicks make sure you have at least one them above the fold this is like right perfect spot like if it was right there it would be even better but for this it's just going to my contacts i just created one for you know and quickly added some just to showcase how that works if you do have a different section you can add multiple ones there but that's going to be up to you if you're not using a trial you can schedule for later if needed we've also verified our address make sure you do that with whatever email you have and last but not least is gonna be the email settings. This is pretty much what we've done already before in terms of the subject line, who it's gonna be from, and so on and so forth. And the last step right here is simply going to be clicking on send now. And you are gonna be good to go. You now know how to send a newsletter in constant contact. You know how to design it. You know how to start it from scratch, add some images, add some text, add some links, maybe design it a little bit better, change around the colors, add borders, add buttons, add videos, whatever it's going to be. It's a pretty straightforward process, right? But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't gotten to test out constant contact, I will leave my link in the description where if you click that, you can get a free trial for them. Thank you so much for watching my constant contact newsletter tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.